Hey bro, I'm Simon Lesson. I'm 15, I'm from the UK. Today, I'm just out in the fields, beautiful UK countryside. It's gonna start getting dark soon, so this hike is gonna become a night hike. And today, I just wanna talk to you about momentum and how once you've got consistent in things, everything just becomes easier. <sighs> okay. I remember it was actually over a year ago now, the first time I ever went to the gym. And it was like five in the morning, me and my friend, we both decided just to like join the gym at the same time. I'd already started like working out before this. I'd work out at home, I had like a bench press and everything at home, but I wanted just to, you know, join the gym and just get into that aspect of it. And so me and my friend, we both decided to join the gym on the same day and everything and go for the first time on the same time. And um, we both woke up at like five in the morning, both went, it was like dark outside because it was, it was like autumn time. And yeah, we both woke up super, super early to go to the gym and everything. And it was really, really like, that's gunshot, oh shit. And I've got to go over this fence. <laughs> I'm supposed to be in a field next to me, but there's cows in there. So I just decided to come over this way. Okay, we did it. <laughs> I just decided to come over this way anyway. Yeah, we both woke up super early. It was cold outside and everything, but it was really like thrilling because we were both going out like really early in the morning to go to the gym, do something new. It was an adventure really. And it was so, so fun. And I was like, yes, this is gonna be <laughs> so, so easy to get consistent and go into the gym. I don't understand why more people don't do it. And so, yeah, we both went to the gym. My friend ended up actually getting, my friend that, fuck. My friend actually ended up getting kicked out because <laughs> he looked too young because we were both like 14 at the time. And so technically you're supposed to be like 16 before you can go to the gym, but he got kicked out, I didn't. Okay, we've got to climb over this little fence now to get into the cow field, but the cows are over there, so we should be fine. Ah, shit, there's barbed wire on it. Okay, how are we going to do this? Let's put you down. How sharp is that? It's not too sharp, but I still don't want to get cut by it. Yeah, this is going to be awkward. Really fucking awkward, isn't it? I'm gonna have to just commit, aren't I? Oh, if I was next to that post over there, it'd be easier. Let's just fucking do this, man. Ah, that was awkward, but it was safer than going near the cows. Um, <laughs> but anyway, back to the story. Yes, yeah, so me and my friend, we went to the gym, he got kicked out and everything, but it was so, so fun. It was so fun the first time he went. And so the next morning rolls around, and my alarm goes off to wake up at five in the morning and it wasn't fun anymore, <laughs> okay? The thrill had worn off after the first time and now it was actually hard, but you know, I still went anyway. I pushed through it and I pushed through it. And then the next morning, alarm off at five again, came round and it was even harder this time, okay? The thrill was completely gone by now and it was into the reality of what it is. And you might have experienced this too, like you start off doing something new, a new habit or something like that. First time you do it, it's completely, it's super, super easy because it's so thrilling, it's something new. But then once you actually realize like how hard it is to get consistent in it, that's when it actually begins to get hard. It's like maybe it, like starting a new business or something like that. It's like, it can be really, really fun to start a new like business model or whatever. Okay. And eventually what ends up happening, you that like the novelty of it wears off really. And you're left with the fact that you actually have to put proper hard work into it. And so what do loads of people do? They end up just jumping around from business model to business model. And that's the same with this. It's like, people they'll just try something new and it will get hard before they get consistent with it and then they'll just quit it because it gets hard like that and that's what happens when you start something new without actually building up momentum with it but and if you come back to the story i ended up just carrying on going to the gym or like pure discipline okay into it it's really really hard but i managed to get consistent with it and after just a couple of weeks it was going it was it, just as easy it was the first time okay because i built up the momentum with it and that's what happens when you build up momentum with anything and you 100 percent already know this yeah you already know that once you've got consistent in something once it's become a routine it's incredibly easy Yeah, so I've had to stop walking because I can't see anything <laughs> when I've got the bright light on my eyes. Um, and so we're just going to stand here and talk. And so this story I just told you about me starting out the gym and it being really, really hard at first, but then eventually getting consistent and getting mo momentum and everything, making it really easy. This applies to literally everything in life, okay? No matter what your goals are, whether it's money, fitness, like whatever it is, study, yeah. You use momentum, you get consistent in it. Everything just becomes so easy. And if you get consistent enough, it gets to the point where it's essentially impossible for you to stop doing this thing. And so whatever you are trying to do right now, whatever your goals are right now, just think, just imagine a world where whatever the hard task is, is just incredibly easy and where you actually enjoy doing it. And just imagine that world. How much progress would you, would you actually make if you did that? Yeah, if, if your hard task, the thing you need to do every single day, 
yeah, that hard thing for you to make progress on your goals. Imagine if that was really, really easy and you absolutely loved it. How much progress would you make? It'd be absolutely incredible, wouldn't it? What if I told you you can start enjoying it and it can be easy and again, it's simply just momentum. Okay, you have to understand that the more you do something, the easier it becomes. And that, that's a simple fact. The more you do something, the easier it becomes. So if you're procrastinating, okay, on whatever it is, going to the gym, doing your study right now, just understand that if you do it now, okay, it will become easier forever, forever to do it, okay? And so whatever task you are facing right now, whatever it may be, whether it be going to the gym, whether it be studying, whether it be whatever, okay, just understand that if you do it now, it will be easier for you to do tomorrow. And then if you do it tomorrow, it'll be easier the next day. Momentum, it really, really is a beautiful thing, okay? At the moment, I'm trying to come back to YouTube and I'm trying to get consistent in doing YouTube again. And I just think back to like a year ago when I was super consistent in it and I was loving it. I was recording, like not every day, but I was recording every weekend, uploading every single day. And just being consistent like that actually made it so much easier for me to like, just do it okay when you are like sporadic with whatever you're trying to do it's just hard every single time it's like i mean you already know this like if whatever you're trying to do isn't in your routine okay it's simply just harder to do and that's because you can't get consistent with it yeah you can't build up momentum with doing this thing you can't let your mind just like zone out and just let you do this thing because you're constantly thinking about that you have to start doing it if that makes sense but if you can just get yourself into that routine the momentum of just doing it automatically everything just becomes so easy and so the message the point i'm trying to get across to you right now is just understand that the thing you are facing right now the big task that you don't want to do that you're watching youtube instead of doing that task if you do it now it will simply just become easier in the long run now, if you are trying to make money online and you do in fact have a YouTube channel, then I can help you to monetize your audience, okay, through doing coaching. I do help and I already have helped so many, so many guys just like you, okay, to make money online through doing coaching. Top link in the description, you can go book a free call with me on Canada there. I really highly recommend you do that, bro. Yeah, thanks for watching. Good talking, man. And um, I'll see you in the next one.